Aha, so we have the 120th scale barrel traction engine. And my intention is to put a differential on this engine. So what I've been making up is, here's the uh, so mild steel ring gear with slots in and I've dropped in, made uh, some 11 teeth bevel phosphor bronze differential pinion gears. And then what I've also made is two crown wheels. So these, these crown wheels, they're cut at so it's at a 20 degree angle. These are 60 teeth, the pinions are 11 teeth and at an angle of 20 degrees. Both angles cut the same, cut with uh, individual cutters on a, on a rotary table with an indexing head. Now you put one of these either side of this ring gear. So the ring gear is driven by the steam engine uh, and that rotates. And when that rotates, that drives that round and that drives an output gear that will be fixed to each of these crown gears that will drive the left hand and the right hand rear wheel. However, if there's any differential movement in those two rear wheels, that can be taken up by this. And what we see then is a motion, and you can just see this working now, the, the relative movement of these two crown wheels to each other rotates and allows those pinions, those pinions rotate and it allows those crown, crown wheels to rotate opposite to each other. So we can drive it, but also we can allow for relative movement. So that's the that's how that differential works. It's a little bit tight at the moment because I've cut these pinion pinions here, as I said, with individual cutters. Uh, with a effectively like you would a, a clock or a watch uh, with an indexing head and at an angle of 20 degrees. I think I need to do a little bit more work to get these absolutely perfect and to get them such that the teeth are a bit more uh, profiled. Whereas where they go towards the, the, the wider diameter on these bevel gears, they get a little bit thick and a bit chunky and then they're struggling to engage with these crown wheels. So a little bit more work, a little bit of a, uh, maybe I'm gonna machine them again, and make another set uh, and machine them twice to get a slightly thinner wheel there. But then we'll just, as I said, it'll just more happily, more happily engage. And you can see there, if I just bring that down slightly, that engages very well. So it's just at that very uppermost diameter that it's struggling. So there it's struggling there it's absolutely fine a bit more work but as you can see we have all the parts of a differential thank you